right guys, we are at the Fairmont Austin. And today we're gonna be reviewing my first Fairmont, so let's see how they do. Anyways, coming in, as you can see, we have a very exquisite hotel to see today. Coming in though, we have a door with a newer style lock, a uh, safe lock, RFID lock set with a deadbolt, people with a cover and your map with uh, information, all that stuff. $1,300 maximum rate, oh my. Uh, Check-in time is 3, check-out time is 11. We are in 3121 here on the 31st floor. And let's see what we get. Now this is a deluxe Fairmont room, so we are on a higher floor. We got an upgrade at check-in, which is nice. But coming in, we have a closet here. A very big one at that. I like how it's lighted too with this hallway light. And yeah, it's pretty big. Robes, hangers, uh, the stealable variety guess if you wanted to, you could take them home, but I'm sure they'd charge you. We have one of these like wall safes. I've actually never seen one of these. Let's see if it works. Yep, I have never seen a wall safe before. Yep, works perfectly. We also have a mirror in the door, if you'd like one. Now though, let's continue. We also have an access point, which means the Wi-Fi here, I'm sure, will be very fast. Anyways though, let's look out in the room. Now it is beautiful. This is probably the most beautiful and deluxe hotel room I have ever seen. Here we have a thermostat, it's an Incom. We have an AC unit, which is high up and putting out cold air. It is a bit warm in here, but it seems like it does have an energy saver. So when we walked in, it started cooling immediately. There's a uh, fire alarms, all that stuff. And here's the main bedroom. We have a desk here with a very like nice chair. We have a nice notepad here. Uh, the presentation is on point. We have a metal pen, wow, very fancy. Notepad, a chair, a phone. If you need to make those important business calls, about the desk. Uh, you got a very nice looking desk chair here. Everything here looks great, brand new. Uh, over here, I'm assuming, is where, yeah, this is definitely a fridge. No, oh, it is a mini bar, ooh, so fancy. Now, this thing is a sensor system, so if we move these things even slightly, um, it will charge us to the room, so we are not going to touch anything. I'm actually not a fan of these mini bars. I much prefer when we have just a regular fridge, but I'm sure we can call one up and get the items removed. Here we have the coffee machine where we have a, wow, an actual Nespresso. Here are the Nespresso capsules. Um, everything you could ever want for your Nespresso. Uh, you get creamer, sugar, basically everything, and instructions on how to use the Nespresso. We also get a standard electric kettle, ice bucket with tongs, all very high-end, very nice presentation. Uh, the kettle is going to fall out, apparently. And down here we have, ooh, wine glasses, regular glasses, a bottle opener, coffee cups, napkins, very well presented, very luxurious. Here we have everything here, uh, room service, magazines, information probably about restaurant dress codes because this is that kind of hotel uh, trash bin with recycling i like when hotels offer that program actually now here is our view and wow for the first time ever we don't have a parking garage view in austin and this is an amazing view from the top of this hotel i don't think i've ever gotten such a good view from a hotel actually in my collection uh, it would be nice if we have a balcony but i can see why you would not put a balcony on a 31-story hotel since that would be a liability most likely i'll we'll go ahead and put the room card here Standard Fairmont room key. Now let's look at the beds. I'll go ahead and claim this one. Very plush looking bedding. Looks very nice when you walk in. We can pull it back and it looks like we actually have a duvet cover. I actually kind of prefer seeing these in hotels over the triple sheeting because they're just a little bit more sanitary. And these are very nice sheets. Wow, this bed is extremely comfortable feeling. Here are the pillows. They all look very nice. No stains, no hairs. The bed is spotlessly clean. I think I'm gonna get a really good night's sleep here. <laughs> I'm so excited already. Yeah, A plus bedding, uh, very luxurious. Here is your nightstand. No Bible, but most hotels don't give you that. Another metal pen, very nice looking alarm clock. Uh, this thing where basically if you put things on the floor, they'll remake the bed with new sheets, but if you leave them on the bed, they won't. Reading lights, wow, very nice. Uh, your lamp. It does have two sides as well. Uh, your outlets with USB ports. There's more on the alarm clock as well. Another phone, if you need to make a phone call at the bed, of course. Some nice local artwork. I like when hotels do that. And yeah, now let's go into the bathroom where things get a bit more interesting, I guess. Now here's the bathroom. First impressions looks very nice. 
Now, we have two options. I think this is actually a very smart design. So you can close this area, right? And this is for when you're taking a shower. So that way, if someone's in the shower, you know, you still get privacy. But let's say you're not showering, you can actually leave this open so people can walk in and wash their hands. But if you're on the toilet, you can actually close this door, which does have a lock on it as well. And that way you have privacy on the toilet, but you can still wash your hands. I think this is a genius implementation of the uh, classic motel style layout here. And yeah, really nice design. Here's the sink. Ooh, very good pressure. We also have Lee Labo products. Wow, 1.4 ounces, very generous. More cups, tissues, towels, a plant. Never gotten one of these. So normally this hotel has the dispenser amenities. I put a special request in to have the small travel size amenities and it does look like they gave me them, which I appreciate. Here's this thing that basically says, uh, here you can read it if you want. Um, so if you don't put a request in, they'll probably give you the uh, big ones, but if you get or ask for the smaller ones, they will give them to you. Um, we did say we wanted them, so we got them, but they will charge you $50 if you take the big dispensers home. So if you get the dispensers in your room or you don't ask for the smaller ones, they will charge you $50 for them, which some people may not like. Here's the trash bin, all that stuff. Um, I guess we'll find the hair dryer. Oh no, it's down there. Hair dryer, bath mat, towels. I'm assuming, yeah, there are a couple towels in there. No, oh, more towels here, duh. <laughs> and yeah, here's the toilet. Nicely presented toilet paper, another extra toilet. Uh, sanitary bag, wow. These are all amenities that are like flying over my head. <laughs> Again, Lee Labo Rose 31. I like these products quite a bit. So we have shampoo, can, or shower gel, conditioner, and lotion, extra lotion, a shoe mitt, wow, a shower cap, towels. Well, if you ever need any of that stuff, they give you a lot. Here's the shower, which, oh, it does have its own separate light, very exquisite. Here's the shower, more conditioner, shower gel, shampoo. I love how generous they are with this stuff. Normally there would be dispensers in here, but again, as for the travel size, so that's what I got. Here's the shower, wow. It's a very nice looking shower head. Oh, it's adjustable, nice. Very, very nice. I will say I would have preferred a tub, but at least they give you a pretty nice shower head, and I think for one night, this is gonna be more than enough. Now, we got this hotel at a really good deal. We got this room for $206, which for Austin in this space, is pretty hard to beat. As a matter of fact, the Hyatt was actually more expensive this year, and given last time we had an incident, that ended up getting someone fired. Long story. Um, we decided we'd try out a new hotel, and I think that, based on this experience, I think I found a new favorite hotel in Austin. Uh, the staff has been super friendly. I mean, I don't think I've ever been to a hotel where they insist on helping you. So yeah, um, if you're ever in Austin, I can give my recommendation to the Fairmont. I think it's a wonderful hotel, and I think if you stay here, you'll have a wonderful experience. Anyways, though, let's go downstairs and look at some of these extra amenities since it seems like they offer quite a bit around here. Let's see them. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way.